let's start with the video okay then ah yes so in this video we'll talk about what are the tools that we need to create uh, any 3d art okay so these are just list of tools that we have to install in our pc to create 3d art anything prop program or anything so these are oh my tools for 3d art so these are uh, these are uh, uh, only related to uh, 3D art, nothing uh, this I won't be covering 2D or uh, something only uh, related to environment like uh, like substance design or something like that. So first one comes very important that is pure F. Yeah. So first is pure F. Pure F. It's a free software very very useful uh, i'll show you how it looks this is uh something it's a infinite canvas you can store your main reference around that it's a reference collection software it's very very useful you can make this by pressing ctrl shift a to uh, to be always on top you cannot make it go behind any other window so that is special that is very good if you have single monitor if you have double then you can just keep it somewhere else uh, so ctrl shift a is the shortcut and yeah you can just from middle mouse you can go you can collect uh, infinite numbers of references and you can just move around seeing uh, other artists and take inspiration and work on your assets so that's that's pure for you so next one very very important this pure f and the next one will be our maya so maya this is maya so uh, we uh, may use maya or uh, you can use 3ds max if you are familiar this what you're seeing right now is a very old version of maya now it looks like this so yeah it's an optional it's a 3d software we will be using maya you can use max as well so for this one we'll use maya and the third one maya for basic uh, for mainly everything for preparing our model for a low poly for uvs for yeah for even high poly as well so for for hard surfaces we we'll use maya sometimes even as well and some basic objects chair box whatever basic or something like that we use we are using maya if you are going to uh, too high poly and creating dents and little details folds for clothes skin everything organic we'll go to the third one which is zbrush zbrush yeah it is used for sculpting self sorting program so very advanced industry everybody uses it i won't be covering blender this because i'm not very familiar with it but yeah i'm pure maya we teach you maya fourth one is marvelous designer uh, this software is used for it's called marvelous designer Uh, this software is used for creating clothes bags pillows anything related to clothes simulation of clothes and then we will take those clothes we we'll move them in zbrush finish them there and then take them into maya create low poly and we'll then move on to the texturing process speaking of texturing next one is painter so painter this is also old good old painter it's uh, it we used to call the uh, algorithmic painter but now it's substance painter and looks like this so 
this is the new logo <coughs> this is used for mainly texturing of our assets after you release in Maya we'll move to painter and we'll do the texturing texturing part okay we'll bake in this as well texturing uh, baking so yeah we can uh, finish off our texturing painter uh, as well as we display showcase uh, render out our image as well but for that we will be using the next software which will come later on and let you know so the next step comes photoshop okay so photoshop what is the use of photoshop in 3d you ask so photoshop is basically used to correct maps maybe whatever error comes in baking in your normal map or ao that we can fix in photoshop and uh, for the final color grading of uh, your final output the image that can be done in photoshop as well this is photoshop and the seventh one is Marmoset tool bag. This is a software for showcase of your asset for to create in game. So this you can consider it as a game engine. For a 3D artist, you don't need uh, to learn too much about Unity. It's better if you know it. But uh, if you want to showcase with a better lighting, uh, easy to use interface, GI and everything sort of that uh, sort of things so you can use marmoset tool bag this software can also be used for baking this produces a very good bakes and uh, we can use for early clothes and all where uh, we have some uh, complicated uh, folds which create overlaps in maps which you have to then uh, fix in photoshop to avoid that we can directly use marmoset tool bag for baking all right uh, this is your game engine you can display your final output in this and create your portfolio renders from here as well you can create 360 videos as well as stills best one till now uh, <laughs> no, no, no. it's one of the to display everything. so last one is if you know it it's unreal engine we will be covering it in the later stage maybe but uh, these two can be equal to each other like these two can only be uh, used to display your final output uh, what your asset looks in game so whether you use this or this same thing because you won't be doing any programming you won't be creating actual game you will be creating assets for game so both of them works 7 is equal to so yeah, that was the list of software that you have to uh, keep with you and we will cover everything from start to finish. So, uh, so stay with me. I promise you everything will be covered and you, I will make you uh, a very good artist with, all, with the help of all these tools. These are just tools. It's the artist who, uh, who knows how to use them will create art for it. So, Thanks for watching. Subscribe for the next one because I will be covering in the next one. There is a basic UI for Maya coming. Maya next. Let's go.